All right, so today I got my 2010 93X again, and we're gonna check the cross wheel drive fluids, see how dirty they are, make sure they aren't low or anything. So let's get to it. First off, see I got the truck car and jack stands here. We're gonna give it a good shake, make sure it's uh, steady. Oh, shaking the camera a lot too. Well, that's feeling solid. I uh, feel pretty confident about it. So that should be our bump check, bump test. So I'm gonna get under there. Uh, unfortunately, I got, got it as high as I can get it, and I got a wet floor to crawl around on. Hopefully, the creeper will help me out. So let's check those fluids, why don't we? All right, we're underneath here, or we're gonna get underneath. I got this creeper that's not very low, unfortunately, so this is not gonna be fun. Uh, all right, here is the differential unit. Oop. Oh, there it is. So you can see I had a little bit of seepage from that seal there. I'll be replacing that, and right here, oh, right there, we have the check plug to check the fluid level, and then on the bottom there, right there, that's how you drain the rear part of the differential. Um, that is the where the actual differential is. And then back here, we have the um, clutch for the system. One thing you want to check while you're under here is are these boots? Oh man, this is really not ideal but as you can see it's starting to crack there um, I'll be replace do a video on replacing those boots as well as changing the fluids so that's uh it's got not long to live there I'm pretty sure the other side yet yeah, the other side's the same same way I'm not gonna pull on that too hard I want it to rip now that would not be good but yeah here's the seal I'm gonna have to replace in here to get rid of that seepage, and I'll do that when I fix these boots also. Um, yeah, and this particular um, unit has the EL ELSD, which is an electronic limited slip differential. That's actually this section right here, basically bolts onto the regular um, differential. So I wanna say that you could add this to a non um, equipped differential if you actually have to, but um, I think most people just get it all as one unit. Then here you got the Haldex sys uh, the actual uh, controller, and then you got the solenoid or pump there. I guess I'm not 100% sure what that is. I think it's the pump, but uh, that controls the pressure in the system and disconnects the front and rear and sends power side to side. So, all right, let's uh, check this level here first. Oh man. That is hard to get into because it's rusty. Oh good wasn't very hard to loosen up and not flowing out that's good there's definitely a little bit of metal on there I want to say this probably has not been replaced before or changed before so luckily it's still operating properly I'm just gonna dip my finger in there oh yeah looks to be the correct level and actually that looks very clean maybe that has been changed um, wow so I'm not feeling too bad about that right now they may have just not wiped this off I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off before I put it back in um, oh. Doing this with one hand is not fun. There, now it's all clean. 
and I'll just check that next time I do anything with the rear or next time I check actually yeah I'll just leave it I'll clean up the plug late at another time right now I don't have the right tools so let's tighten that back up and move on to the next thing wipe that off too all right now the other plug is going to be on this other side here where is it at oh there we are right up in there right here so uh, i'm going to figure out what size that is i'm going to say eight millimeter crap so we're gonna need an extension with a swivel all right let's try this again I got the extension and the swivel let's get it up in there all right hopefully this works with one hand Slightly tight, and uh, oop, come on. now it should be. Yep, come on. now it works by hand, and this one should not overflow either. Perfect. Now that one doesn't have the magnet on the bottom, and this one you got to be really good about keeping clean. So I'm gonna find something to stick in there and check the level. All right, now not only do you want to keep it as clean in there as possible because uh, the system's kind of finicky and they actually mentioned in the, um, the EI, I can't remember what it's called, but anyways, the, the procedure to change the fluid mentions wanting to keep it as clean as possible or contamination free as possible and uh, Looks like that might be a little low. Oops. Well, there goes the cleanliness of that. Um, I mean, it's not terribly low, but something, you know, and that makes sense actually because of the seepage. So, um, addressing that sooner rather than later would be a good idea. I'm gonna wipe this off and check it one more time. It's looking pretty good. It's hard to tell on there, but I think it's I think it's mostly full. So those ones are looking good. I'm gonna put that plug back in. Doesn't need much torque, just get it snugged up. And uh yeah, we'll move on to the transfer case. Alright, now this last one is up right here behind Hard to even see. Yeah, there you can see it kind of. I'm going to have to use one of these because my last tool is not going to work. Uh, Allen key, it's 8mm again. I hope. Um, where, there it is. There you can get a good shot of it. Now, it's right behind the exhaust so it's hard to get to. Oh man, is this not the same size? Yeah, it is. Alright, so which way do I got to go here? I'm all... Turned around. Oh man, that's tight. And I'm gonna use this as leverage because it's pretty tight. Oh man, are you kidding me? There. That was absolutely ridiculous. Now, unfortunately, this is just super inconvenient with the 
exhaust right there. It's the same on my Turbo X. Okay, that looks fine, I guess. Then we're gonna use this. Clean it up a little bit here first. Right to check the level. Just stick it in there. Flatten it out. It looks like we're good. So went up to the bend about, which is where how far I stuck it in. You can dab, uh, dip the or <laughs> put a little dab of these fluids on uh, a white paper towel, and it'll help you see any um, contamination that's in them. Uh, so I'm just gonna put this back in, and that's it for checking our differential fluids. This is uh, right behind the engine, obviously by the exhaust downpipe and uh, yeah it's possible to do on a garage floor but it sucks especially when you're holding the camera or a phone I guess so there we go that's how you check your fluids just make sure they're up to the bottom of the check holes and you can check how clean they are at the same time uh, mine looked to be quite clean actually. I'm not going to even, I'm not too worried about them, but uh, I'll probably do a service anyways pretty soon. So there we go. Alright, so that's how you do cross wheel drive fluid check. Uh, two in the back, one in the front. And uh, yeah, on mine, looks like the fluid level is good. Just make sure it's up to the bottom of the check hole. Make sure you put the plug back in nice and Nice and snug, not too tight again, because obviously you don't want to strip out the threads. Uh, mine's also looking pretty clean. Uh, I dabbed it on a white paper towel, and as long as you don't see any dirt rings going on, then uh, you should be good. Let's see if I can find what I did. Like, see this little grayish area at the bottom right above, well, right there. That one, here's a little speck from something else, but you don't see any dirt rings or anything. And then I should have used a, a cleaner one so I could demonstrate a little better. But we'll go into that when I do the actual service and change fluids. I'm going to be doing that on my Turbo X for sure. I don't know about this because it's looking pretty clean. Um, wouldn't hurt since I don't know the actual service history of the Crossville Drive system, but they did bring it into the dealership. Uh, for ma uh, scheduled maintenance and stuff and it looks like there's been other things replaced such as the brakes and possibly even the coils and plugs so I guess they didn't record everything but yeah mine's looking good so now you have know how to check yours and see if yours is good too oh also just make sure there's no in the rear uh, on older models before they did a um, what am I looking for? A service bulletin? I think, if that's the right word. Uh, but it was due to a seal between the crosswheel drive system and um, just the regular, the diff. And it would leak into the crosswheel drive, the clutch portion, the front clutch portion, and then it would destroy the clutches. So, um, if you check one of the rear ones and one's low and the other one's overfilled, you need to service that very, I mean, I wouldn't even drive it to be honest, just get it serviced because that seal between them is probably bad. I would guess that um, that shouldn't be an issue anymore, especially in a 2010, uh, but in 2008 that in the Turbo X's and stuff, that seemed to be the common problem that caused them to fail. And then there was also an addition Actually, what I now that I think about it, what might have caused that is they updated the vent pipe, or I don't know, just the vent on the rear differential. 
So it probably built up too much pressure and pushed it through. I mean, the seal probably didn't fail. It was probably actually just the pressure from the air. So yeah, as long as your fluid's not too full in one of them, you should be good. So yeah, just uh, keep it checked, keep it full. And when you need to, about every 30 to 40,000 miles, change the fluids, especially in the rear. The front one could probably go a little longer. Uh, I mean, I'd probably be good with 50 to 60,000. And with me on my Turbo X, I drive it pretty hard, so I'm going around 20 to 25,000 is what I'm changing the intervals at. So, yeah, just keep it keep it serviced, and you shouldn't have any problems with your cross-wheel drive system. Uh, a lot of people say they aren't very reliable, but I have yet to have an issue, and I, that, I work them hard. In this, it's uh, getting... Uh, going, getting through the snow, no problem here in North Dakota. Uh, drove through Pennsylvania. It was terrible, the weather. Um, the re record-breaking type of, of storm that we were driving through. Um, and very icy here. And my other car autocross all the time. It's still kicking the rear out when uh, I get on it in a corner on dry pavement even. So I know it's working good. So anyways... I'm a believer in the system, uh, best all-wheel drive system I've driven, and that's a lot of WRXs, a few STIs, I didn't really get uh, um, get on those much, I mean I could imagine it's probably better because you can actually adjust it and stuff, but pretty good system, so take care of it, and it'll take care of you. See you next time.